Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to collect all of the Purunga Dragon Balls for this year's Thank You Celebration on Global. Uh, there are two sets in total, seven Dragon Balls per set, obviously. And uh, just like always, starting from the first day of the campaign, which is today, November 6th, we can collect one new Dragon Ball per day until the end of the campaign. So if you're watching this video the day that it comes out, we can get the one star Dragon Ball for the first set right now. And then tomorrow on the 7th, we can collect the two star on the 8th, the three star, the ninth, the four star, and so on and so forth until uh, the campaign is over. Now, if you are watching this video at some point in the future, and you've missed Dragon Balls in between, then you can collect all the Dragon Balls you've missed at once. But any balls that haven't been released yet will still be unobtainable, okay? I'll probably put a little date somewhere above my head on the screen to tell you guys when each Dragon Ball uh, becomes available for collection to avoid any confusion. And uh, without further ado, let's jump right into it and start with the one star Dragon Ball for the first set, which is gonna be available today on November 6th. And to get it, you have to recruit a character with a Dokkan Thank You Celebration Gift Card 3, which is this uh, item right here we got for the first login. And all you gotta do is pop over to the Baba Shop, scroll over to the Thank You Gift Card Shop, and exchange one of the gift cards for a unit, and you'll get your one star Dragon Ball. Now for the two star Dragon Ball, you have to clear any stage of the event, give it a Dokkan Punch Machine. So basically just clear any stage of the punch machine event and you'll get that two star dragon ball for the three star dragon ball just consume at least 77 stamina that's it super easy just do any events you want consume at least 77 stamina and you'll get your three star dragon ball for the four star dragon ball you have to collect at least seven fizz key spheres and clear a stage and any stage should work for this and what i would do just to be extra safe is either bring a Fizz Orb Changer like Virus or Kefla, or a Fizz Orb Changing Support Item like the uh, Puar Item, right? And you should be good to go. Now, for the 5 star Dragon Ball, you have to collect 77,777 Zenny from the stages. And once again, any stage should work, but if you want to clear it with one run, then your best bet is probably the Hercules World Tournament event. Now, for the 6 star Dragon Ball, uh, similar to the 4 star, you have to collect 7 spheres, but this time it's STR key spheres and clear a stage. So once again, just bring either a STR orb changer or STR orb changing item and clear the stage and you should be fine. And for the 7th and final Dragon Ball for the first set, you have to Z Awaken a character. And of course, this is different from Extreme Z Awakening. Z Awakening is just taking a unit from SR to SSR or SSR to UR. So those are all the things you gotta do to uh, complete your first set of Purunga Dragon Balls for this year's Thank You Celebration. And once you get that done, you can summon Purunga for the first time through your home screen and make three wishes. And these are the available wishes this time around. So the first wish gives you a gift card. The second wish gives you three of each of the uh, Grand Kais. The third wish gives you a ton of orbs. Fourth wish gives you some medium and small meats. The fifth wish gives you a bunch of story keys or event keys. The sixth wish gives you 777 incredible gems and 100 of each of these support items. And the seventh and final wish gives you uh, some Hercule statues, some awakening medals, and some training items and training locations. Now personally, I think the best value here would be the orbs, the Kai's, and either the keys or meats depending on which one you're missing more of um this wish is not bad either although you could always farm incredible gems zenny obviously is an issue for some people out there especially newer players um, but you could always do a bunch of friend summons or farm extreme z battles to uh get a ton of zenny so in my opinion the best wishes here are the meats the orbs and the kais but of course the choice is ultimately up to you and you do get two sets of wishes so you could always mix it up right now let's move on to the second set of wishes and for the one star dragon ball you have to tap the special banner on the home screen and it's gonna look different from all the other ones that are promoting offense uh, for jp i believe it looked like a bunch of shooting stars 
uh, like this right here. It might not be exactly the same for global, but either way, it should be very noticeable. Just scroll through the banners at the bottom of your home screen and uh, eventually you should find a unique looking one. Click on that and you'll get the one star Dragon Ball. For the two star Dragon Ball, you have to collect at least seven tech key spears and clear a stage once again. Any stage will do. Bring a tech orb changer or item and you should be good to go. For the three star Dragon Ball, perform a friend summon. That's it. Super simple. Four star Dragon Ball, collect at least seven AGL key spheres and clear a stage. For the five star Dragon Ball, get trade points at Baba's Shop, which I assume just means that you have to exchange a unit or an item for some Baba points and you should get that uh, five star Dragon Ball. And for the six star Dragon Ball, collect at least seven int key spheres and clear a stage. And finally, for the seventh Dragon Ball or the seven star Dragon Ball for set two, clear a stage with a team that includes an ally or allies of five types. So a rainbow team, a team that includes AGL, STR, um, Tech, Fizz, and uh, what am I missing? Int. My brain just totally stopped working for a second. So I was actually looking at the Kai's down here to give me some help. So yeah, run a team with AGL, Tech, Int, STR, and Fizz. Clear stage and you'll get that seventh and final Dragon Ball for set two. And that's pretty much it guys. Summon Purunga once again, make your three wishes. And that concludes the thank you celebration Purunga campaign for this year. Now there's one thing I do have to mention before we go. And that is uh, in the past, the Dokkan Wiki has been a little bit off about a few of these clues. I mean, in general, they're very accurate, but there's been some minor tweaks or minor changes that have happened uh, in game compared to you know what it says on the wiki. So if uh, anything like that happens this time around, I'll make sure to let you guys know in the pinned comment down below. If there's no pinned comment, then you're fine. But if there is a pinned comment, make sure to check it out. And if you guys you know have issues with any of these clues that I gave you, like it's not working for some reason, then make sure to come back to this video because I'll probably have an update for you about how to get that specific Dragon Ball if the clue here is not 100% correct. Okay, so uh, that's it guys. That is today's video. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your viewership. And as always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you wanna stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.